Brings me closer to my Savior. Little bit of heaven, a whole lot of love left behind. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Rise and Shine. Um, first, I want to start off by uh, I'm Bernice Cobbs. I guess you need to know who I am, right? <laughs> But first, I want to start off by apologizing. On Wednesday, we were here raring to go. The guests were here. And guess what? The technology failed us. That's right. Um, so we do want to apologize for that because we know that we have many viewers who really enjoy Rise and Shine. It's always very informative and we hope to be engaging. So um, sorry about that about the technology. But we're back today. We're very excited to be here uh, with you um, today. Joyce is under the weather and hopefully she will be back next week. Let's hope so because we miss Joyce. Uh, she asked me to come and be a part of the show today. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We, have, we do have a guest with us today. I would like for her to tell us, give us her name and the organization that um, she's with. I do think that you'll find today's topic very valuable. So we're going to go ahead and let her introduce herself. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me, Bernice. Sure. Yeah, it's always a pleasure to be on Cable 12, yes. Rise and Shine. Yes. My name is Lee Prom, mm -hmm. and I am a volunteer for the Alzheimer's Association. And I'm especially with the area called the Longest Day. Mm -hmm. Alzheimer's Association has lots of different parts that they work with through the walk to end Alzheimer's. Longest Day is another part, and basically it is to raise funds and awareness for Alzheimer's and other dementias because it is a big it's a crisis in a way. It is. It is, and it can be um, very um, hard on families, mm -hmm. especially if families, um, I'm going to use mm -hmm. the terminology dementia, mm -hmm. Alzheimer's, right. have you, to me they go hand in hand. Yes, Alzheimer's is yeah. a type of dementia, dementia. the most prevalent. Right, mm -hmm. right. And it can be um, very hard on families once um, it's been diagnosed. Mm -hmm. So tell us uh, um, a little bit about your journey. How did you mm -hmm. come to mm -hmm. volunteering um, for this organization? Yes. Well, it's a pleasure mm -hmm. to be able to help, even in a small way. Because mm -hmm. when my mother had Alzheimer's mm -hmm. and came to live with us for a while, I was just at a, a loss mm -hmm. and needed the help and support and the information. And when I got in touch with the Alzheimer's Association, they were there and there was a support group to go to and that was just a tremendous help. Mm -hmm. So you've lived, you've walked that walk, so yeah. you know, and mm -hmm. a lot of times I always feel individuals mm -hmm. um, who have uh, been in the middle of a, mm -hmm. a I think it's almost a crisis, mm -hmm. actually, yeah. because it can be so devastating for families mm -hmm. and caregivers mm -hmm. and yes. those connected mm -hmm. to those individuals because, you know, my dad had dementia mm -hmm. and uh, during his years, he was a very active man, mm -hmm. worked all of his life, and mm -hmm. then it began to... Um, impact him in such mm -hmm. a negative way. Yeah. He wasn't even the same person. person. Yeah. Um, so, and... You lose them twice. Right. Well, to speak to that. Mm -hmm. So you have them, their normal mm -hmm. lifespan, things sure. are going along. Sure. And it's almost like a reversal mm -hmm. from childhood up, and now you're going backwards in mm -hmm. its own way. But they're not the person personality-wise they were right. before. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes, as I care now for 
other people in the community in their homes, I wonder what were they like before? Right. Because they're a new person per se now. And mm -hmm. so by the time the end of life comes, although it's hard, mm -hmm. you've really already lost them. So hence you lose right. them twice. Right. Mm -hmm. And I always say when an um, individual is um, suffering mm -hmm. from some ailment, mm -hmm. that it's just not only is it hard on the individual or the patient, mm -hmm. it's hard on the caregivers too. Definitely. So we hope today that the caregivers can get some information, know who to reach out to, because you do not want to try to walk this walk mm -hmm. alone. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's it's mm -hmm. hard. Mm -hmm. so, you burn out yourself yeah. and then you'll be no good as a right. caregiver. Right, you burn out. We'll use that terminology, mm -hmm. you're exactly mm -hmm. right, you burn out. So that's really what today is about, to be informing of get, providing information how can we help not only the patient, but the caregiver mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the family? Mm -hmm. So go ahead and talk about next Thursday. Uh, mm -hmm. Next Thursday is what's called the summer solstice. Mm -hmm. It's the first day of summer, the day with the most daylight. And the Alzheimer's Association has referred to this as the longest day. Mm -hmm. So there are people all over the world on this day and other days throughout the year, but mostly this day doing a variety of events to raise funds and awareness. Last year I did a swim challenge at the YMCA, and this year I am doing a run challenge, and I'm calling it $20 for 20 laps on the 20th. It'll take place next Thursday morning, a week from today, at seven o'clock at the Franklin County High School track. Mm -hmm. And it's a public place, so people are welcome to come walk, run with me, cheer me on, oh, yeah. the longest mm -hmm. day, and the day with the most sunlight. Alzheimer's Association has a mantra for the longest day, and they say, the day with the most light is the day we fight. Oh, I like and that. we are fighting to envision a world without Alzheimer's mm -hmm. and other dementia. Oh. Mm -hmm. And so with the funds, talk to us a little mm -hmm. bit about Sometimes we donate. We really don't know what happens or how the funds are used. Talk a little bit about mm -hmm. how those funds that you will collect, mm -hmm. um, how are they used? Yes. Mm -hmm. And first of all, Bernice, I want people to know that their funds will stay in central western Virginia. Mm -hmm. So it goes to help around here. We actually have an Alzheimer's Association staff worker for this whole part of the state but she lives in Rocky Mount, Brooke Gill. Mm -hmm. And she is busy all the time around the community doing educational programs, making sure support groups get mm -hmm. put together, and just all those kinds of things on a local level, and then nationally, internationally, for research, research. and development. Yes. And the Alzheimer's mm -hmm. Association is the leading Alzheimer's organization. Very good. Mm -hmm. So today, if I am mm -hmm. a caregiver, mm -hmm. and so if I wanted to know um, how do I contact the Alzheimer's mm -hmm. Association, mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna. Um, if you can, if you can read this. Sorry, we don't have this up it's on a slide. Eight hundred two seven two thirty nine hundred alz dot org right either you can call 24 7 24 7 or you can go to the website uh, <clears throat> where an individual will talk to you mm -hmm. uh, provide information or maybe even answer some questions that mm -hmm. you might have mm -hmm. or you simply might need someone to talk to mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. For sure. Right. Because we a say. wealth of information yeah. on the website. Right. Wow, a lot. And we don't want anyone, and I'm going to mm -hmm. use this terminology, we don't want anyone to suffer in silence. Mm -mm. We don't want that. And mm -hmm. we want individuals to be informed. Mm -hmm. Right? Definitely. And so there are, there are associations, there are support groups um, that uh, can provide some support. That's mm -hmm. the bottom line. Yes. Um, it is. And again, here's the number. You want to say it again? Yes. 800-272-3900. And online, alz.org. Right. And um, so you can call this number or go to um, the website. Mm -hmm. And sometimes in some of the areas in Franklin County, 
Yeah, the internet is <laughs> maybe limited. Uh, so I am so glad that there is a number that you can call to provide what information is available and again, what support groups you might mm -hmm. uh, meet up with a support group or talk Definitely. to others, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so that's what we want for our community. We want our community to be informed mm -hmm. um, because we know that um, it is a disease. Mm -hmm. It really yes. is. Yeah. It is a disease and we're hoping one of these days that there is a cure. Yes, and right. we are in the age of treatment. There are medications that are being used now that are approved. Mm -hmm. It won't get rid of it or reverse it, but if it's caught in the early stages, it can help slow that progression. As you know, we mm -hmm. talked before, it is such an issue. There are nearly 7 million Americans oh, wow. with Alzheimer's mm -hmm. and more than 11 million caregivers taking care of them and an expense. It's estimated at $360 billion this year alone, the cost entailed of caring for those with Alzheimer's and dementia. Wow, I didn't realize mm -hmm. that the figures were up there like so that. that. Mm -hmm. Yes. That so every bit we can raise mm -hmm. and I don't know if you showed yes, this. I will. But mm -hmm. I'm not sure how much time we have, but I. Well, it's okay. We've yeah, got plenty of time. You go ahead. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Okay. Well, I'll let you leave. But I just wanted to tell them a bit more about mm -hmm. the run and my specific goals. Right. You want to hold that up, yes. and so they can. Uh, let's see. Uh, do I hold uh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Sorry, there you okay. go. <laughs> anyway, but as I said, twenty dollars for twenty laps on the twentieth. And you can come run, walk without having to pay anything, but whatever you can donate will be so appreciated. And Bernice knows this as a fellow runner, 20 laps is five miles. Yeah. And I've set myself a goal of completing this trek in less than an hour. So I've been timing out at about 58, 59. And it's supposed to be really hot next week, but that's okay, we've got lots of water and we'll just pace ourselves and looking forward to it. I had a train run yesterday on the track and there was a young fellow running and kind of wondered what I was up to and told him and he's hoping to mm -hmm. come out next Thursday mm -hmm. morning. It would be just great to have that support. And my goal, I'm a real goal-oriented, mm -hmm. incentive-driven type of person because the need is so great. Mm -hmm. My goal is to raise $4,500 wow. this year. Right. And last year, Bernice, it was incredible. My goal was $2,040. People were just incredibly generous, the donors. More than doubled my goal and more than $4,300. I was wow. just thrilled. I'm sure you so were. The flyers are around town, just talking it up. People can look it up on Facebook, right. follow me there. But it's just an honor and a, a lot of fun. And there was one thing, I don't know if you were going to ask it because there's mm -hmm. always so much mm -hmm. to, to talk, talk about. about mm -hmm. And you know, I'm passionate about this. But those caregivers, one of the parts of the things I like to do is not just raise the money and awareness but to honor those caregivers because the longest day, that's every day for a caregiver is very long. So it's a way to honor them. Mm -hmm. So the YMCA campers, the youth this year, and also students from the National Honor Society of the High School have written up, drawn, made cards that after my run, I will take around to the three nursing homes to give to the certified nursing assistants, the CNAs, just to honor them. Very good, very good. So, um, Lee, you're doing a lot of work, a lot of work that's necessary and important. Um, so let's look at the flyer. This is a flyer, and this is Lee. You, if you go to the track next Thursday at seven o'clock, you can walk, you can run, and I may come myself next Thursday. Oh, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. And because I'm a runner and I run yeah. every day, or Ooh. at least three or four mm -hmm. times a week, Burn not every day, but uh -huh. three or four times yeah. a week, and try to do the run Different with scenery. you. Now, I won't be able to keep up with you. I won't be able to keep up with you. Uh -huh. uh, I run and uh -huh. three, four, five miles, but oh. um, I won't be able to keep up with her. She's pretty fast, no, no. she's very strong. But I am very glad. Oh, I'm covering up your face, Lee. I don't mean to do that. But there is a QR code on here. There we go. 
There is a QR code. You can grab that QR code. We're in a modern time now with technology and your cell phones. I hope that you can grab that QR code. And there is online. Oh, yes. Oh, you also can go online. Well, yes. that's right. Very good. Yes. And some people prefer that. It's act.alz.org forward slash go to forward slash LEPROM, which is spelled L-E-I-G-H-P-R-O-M. Mm -hmm. So act alls or go to LEPROM. Yes, very good. So far I'm more than 1800 and more than 40% of my goal and just want to knock this out and with everybody's right. help, mm -hmm. be great. Well, I would hope not only mm -hmm. beyond uh, fundraising that next mm -hmm. Thursday, mm -hmm. those of us who can right. um, in Franklin County and beyond will come mm -hmm. out and uh, support <laughs> this uh, endeavor to raise funds mm -hmm. for the um, organization. Yeah. So that would be great. And again, it is a worthy cause. There are a lot of causes, right. but this is a worthy cause. And Lee had given us some statistics. Uh, again, how many individuals right now? We know right. it's a... Uh, Alzheimer's dementia, nearly right. 7 million. 7 million. That means that in our own way, yeah. um, either we are mm -hmm. or we will be impacted mm -hmm. by this dreaded oh, yeah. disease right. um, that... Um, impacts so uh, seven million, at least seven million individuals. Mm -hmm. Eleven million caregivers. Eleven million caregivers who sometimes do not get a break. Right, and they're mm -hmm. a lot of them are unpaid. Right. Oh and yes. And so they're out of the workforce. Right. What we did with my mom, mm -hmm. actually, is shared the care. Mm -hmm. I grew up in Montana, mm -hmm. and my sister married a Canadian, mm -hmm. and then we've since lived in Minnesota, mm -hmm. Wisconsin, and Virginia. Mm -hmm. And so mom was out there kind of in Kim's realm mm -hmm. here, but we would share with six month increments. So when it's hot down here, mom will be up north mm -hmm. and then vice versa right. in the winter, we just right. fly across right. and did that right. as long as we could. Mm -hmm. I know that uh, my sister, uh, once my dad got to a certain state mm -hmm. stage, uh, my sister uh, was able to take care of him. Yeah. And it was it was labor of love, labor of love, and it mm -hmm. was difficult. It mm -hmm. was very difficult. It yes, is. and I find Bernice, which is interesting, I'm noticing as a caregiver mm -hmm. now, professionally in the community, is that I think it's harder for the families than if I were to go and be with another family mm -hmm. and all. So when it's your own, it's just so hard but then I'm a little bit removed so I can go out and help those people. Right. Right. So it's not that mm -hmm. the caregivers of their own families don't care, but they are just so tired and can yes. only do right. so much. Mm -hmm. And that is so true, mm -hmm. that's so true. Yeah. So again, um, if you can, next Thursday at seven o'clock at Franklin County High School track. It's a very nice track. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know about the temperature. I think it's supposed to be, well, at seven o'clock, it's probably going to be maybe 70s, mm -hmm. probably, yeah. but it, at least she's not doing it at two o'clock in the afternoon. Oh my goodness, it's, mm -hmm. it's supposed to be pretty warm next week. Mm -hmm. But seven o'clock in the morning is a great time. I come out and um, just support the endeavor. Mm -hmm. Just uh, come on and support their endeavor. Yes, we, we envision mm -hmm. a world without Alzheimer's yes. and all dementia. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. you. Well, well, we thank you for your work. Did you have yeah. one more? Oh, one mm -hmm. thing. I don't know if we talked about this or not, mm -hmm. but June is Alzheimer's Brain Awareness Month. Oh, So this good. is especially fitting. Yes, mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. It is. Yeah. It's very fitting. But we thank you for being with oh, us today. It was you, very inf uh, informational. And uh, we hope that next Thursday, or by next Thursday, you reach your goal of $4,500. $4,500. And let's hope also that individuals will come out mm -hmm. next uh, Thursday to support mm -hmm. this endeavor. Yeah.
because it's very important and especially the research it's very mm -hmm. important and again we thank you for being with us yeah. what we're going to do right now is we're going to take a little break we had a break so um showing some of our sponsors and i will be back with some announcements Thank you. Go and get your cup of coffee and be ready to listen to some announcements. Welcome back to Rise and Shine. And I got a little ahead of myself. We actually have another guest today, which I'm very happy about. And I knew that. Just rack it up on my age. <laughs> well, <laughs> but we do have another guest. He is uh, representing Farm Ford. He's going to tell us who he is. He's going to tell us about Farm Ford and what um, activity they have coming up as a fundraiser. So good morning. Oh, nice to nice to meet you. Nice yeah. to have me on here. I appreciate it. Yes. Um, now tell us who you are and you're representing and the fundraiser. Sounds good. My name is Ed Saunders. I'm with Farron Ford and also Friends of Farron Park. 
Uh, Fair and Forward was an organiza organization started a few years back uh, to basically act on a lot of the things that, that came out of the county plan, uh, make Fairham a nicer place. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that came out of that discussion was a need for a public space there in Fairham, which is where the Friends of Fairham Park came up with. Mm -hmm. um, so essentially, the Friends of Fairham Park started as a... Uh, as a, a group to figure out what to do with the 84 acre parcel there. And one of the things that we kept seeing and feedback from the uh, folks in Ferrum was a need for public space, a need for our farmer's market, uh, a need for people to go have events and things like mm -hmm. that. And just a, a need to get people out and gather again. You know, mm -hmm. COVID did a number on folks and, and we've seen it with the farmer's market too, just a need for people to be out and do stuff in the community, oh, see yes. old friends, mm -hmm. meet up. So, um, so that's why we kind of, uh, split off from Ferrum Forward to do this hyper specific thing um, and to start raising funds and planning mm -hmm. for that. Um, so that's why uh, we are right. also part of uh, the Ferrum uh, Park Project. Well, very nice. And the saying is if they build it, we will come. Exactly. So that is your goal. Yep. So tell us about the fundraiser. Um, so the fundraiser is on June 22nd. Mm -hmm. um, it's between two and nine, and essentially what we've done is we've gotten a, a bunch of local bands that want to support the park. Mm -hmm. uh, we're all going to have uh, we're going to have Kerosene Willie, Karen and Mark Templeton, the Junior Appalachian Musicians, the Roger Handy Band, uh, Carl Scott and Glory Bound, Alan Messenger and Friends, and then Junior Sisk is going to show up and play with those guys. So oh, nice! It's a, a big name, and, and he was very happy to come out and help. So. Yes. Um, and then at 8 o'clock, we're going to have kind of a sit around. Anybody that wants to bring their uh, their instruments and stuff, uh, mm -hmm. we're going to just let folks gather and, again, kind of pluck and uh, play around and uh, hopefully have a good time. So. Right. Well, let's show everyone your flyer, if right. you don't Sounds mind. Good. So, oh, you have to make a donation, right? Yes, to, mm -hmm. Right. Yep. So here's the flyer. But we have a lot of flyers today. I like this. <laughs> Sorry that we're not fancy and have them up on a, a display. But um, if you can see, maybe Brody can zoom in on. So here's the flyer. Uh, Friends of Fairham Park. And it is a fundraiser. Remember, it is, got the wrong hand going here. It is June the 22nd. And it does it actually start at 2? It or starts does, at 2, yes, It starts at 2. Mm -hmm. They're asking for a $10 donation. Yes, mm -hmm. And as you know, when it comes to music, that's, that's pretty cheap. Think about yeah. if you were going to a concert. I won't tell you how much concert tickets cost, <laughs> yeah. but you're getting a deal. There will be food uh, available for you to purchase and... It says prize, prizes, there'll be some prizes. You must have a raffle yep. or something, yes, very yep. good. And uh, kids area, we we'll always have half the area for our kids. Oh, yeah. And again, there is a $10 donation. They take cash, they will take cash, or you can use your card, but it's um, a great fundraiser. It starts again, it starts at two o'clock and it goes all the way to eight o'clock. And it looks like each band will perform at the top of the hour, yes, starting at 2 o'clock. And that is going to be June the 22nd, which is not this Saturday, but it's the following yes, Saturday. So come out, support this very important event. So with the funds, you can use the funds to build up, the, begin to... Um, build the park. Yes, ma'am. Well, unfortunately, we do have to purchase the, the property from the Oh, okay. The, the county. So I got so, ahead of yeah. myself no, again. No, that's okay. But yes. uh, what we're hoping to do is once we secure the property, then, you know, half of the funds will go to building the amenities and then half the funds will go to making sure that the, the payments are made on the on the park property. So, Very yep. good. Very good. And that's good. at the Crossroads Ruridans. I don't know if I said that or not, but that's going to be at the Crossroads Ruridans out in Ferrum. Oh, okay. Very that's good. good. Um, again, this is another worthy cause because uh, we know that parks are a central part of any community. Yes, ma'am. Uh, we, we, I go to the park all the time, especially down at 619, um, and I really enjoy it. The county does a superb job of keeping up the park. I just enjoy it. I run down there with my friend Amy. We really enjoy it. And if we didn't have that, it would be sad. Yeah. So I think about um, the farm community. They too, um, a park would be wonderful up there um, for the neighborhood, for gatherings. Um, so come out on June the 22nd and support that endeavor. And again, you get to listen to some great music because we know in Franklin County, yes, 
<laughs> Franklin County has some wonderful, talented does. individuals. And so I think because you're having those different bands, I think you're going to have a draw. I hope so. Because people will come. You build it and they will come. I hope so. We've had really great results with our farmer's market on Thursday between yeah. 3 and 7. Mm -hmm. We have a ton of folks show up and it's absolutely some of the best food you'll have. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. So Fairham has a farmer's market yes, on Thursdays yes, from 3 to 7. That is correct. Now where is this? the farmer's market located? It's at that same location. Same yep. location. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Um, I go to the farmer's market there in town, yep. but the farm, farmer's market is on Thursdays from 3 to yes, 7. We always try to have a food truck there if we can, uh, so you can get some, some local food and uh, you know, support some local small businesses. And uh, We have some great baked goods and stuff. Now produce is finally coming in, so it's, it's, it's a really great selection. Very good. See, I have a lot going on. Oh, yeah. What else would you like for us to know about uh, Ferrum, the Friends of the Farm Park or Farm um, Ford. Essentially, if anybody is willing to donate or if anybody is willing to show up and volunteer, uh, we'd be happy to have you. Mm -hmm. um, if anybody has any ideas for like some of the park amenities and wants to, to jump in on helping us raise funds for those particular amenities, we'd be happy to talk to you. Um, uh, Yourfarmpark.com or your uh, is our website. Mm -hmm. uh, our email is on there as well. Um, and you can always stop by the, uh, uh, by the farmer's market. Uh, our booth is always there so you can come up and talk to us if you have anything to talk about as far as Ferrum goes or about the park project. We'd be happy to listen. Very good. So that website again is www.yourfarmpark, all three words, no space, dot com. www.yourfarmpark.com if you want to know more yes, about this endeavor. So I wish you the best of luck I certainly appreciate um, it. on June the 22nd, which is a Saturday, and um, sponsored by the Crossro Crossroads Ruritan. Yep, they're, they're holding the, the event at their site, so well, hopefully we good. have enough space there. I, 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 well, I hope you do too. Yeah. But what, and wouldn't that be a great problem to oh, have? Oh, that's it's always a, yes. a terrible problem to have. I know, yeah. a terrible problem to have <laughs> where you have so many uh, participants, that um, you run out of space. Well, we want people to be safe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, of course we do. Uh, we'll make sure we take care of everybody yeah, that comes. But yes, yeah. we, we would. Um, so also beyond the foods, they're going to have a hot dog, baked beans, slaw, yes, drinks, slice of cake, ice cream, popcorn, and snacks. And again, all of this is for sale. Yep. And that. then uh, the $10 donation gets you in, and then the, that food that you add, uh, mm -hmm. basically a dinner, mm -hmm. is $10 as well. So for 20 bucks, you can have dinner and a show, and right. you can stick around the entire night and right. close it out with us. Bring your lawn chair. Yes, ma'am. Bring, bring your, your lawn, lawn chair or a blanket, whatever blanket, you Blanket, um, maybe hot, so bring, wear your sunscreen and put a hat on your head, <laughs> and right? Exactly, yeah. Exactly. Come out and have a great time. Sounds Very good. good. Um, if there's not anything else you want us uh, to know? No, that's, I think, it. Yeah, very good. And so we wish you the best of luck Thank with you this so much. endeavor. And again, and again, I think this time I'm going to get it right. So when we come back, we have a few announcements. And so uh, you take but only will be about a minute. So don't go and get you any coffee. Just stay where you are, and we will be right back.
And now I'm back and there are a few announcements that we're going to make this morning. The first announcement, uh, Juneteenth, will be held at Booker T. Washington National Monument. That's this coming Saturday, June the 15th from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. This event celebrates the freedom of slavery in song and recognition of local leaders, as well as awarding student scholarships. Many gospel groups will be featured with some of our favorite selections. Local vendors will be on hand with delicious food for the public to purchase. So please plan to attend. And again, this is the Juneteenth celebration at Booker T. Washington National Monument. The Pig River Community Center is having a community day. That a community day will be on Saturday, June the 22nd, starting from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. Everything, what I like about this community day is everything is free everything is free it's a way to give back uh, to the community and also uh, you go and you fellowship with each other Ply Gym will be providing inflatables for the kids to enjoy there will be free food free clothing household items resources from various organizations will be there i've been before well actually i think i've been every year that the pig river community center holds this community day and it's wonderful so go everything is free just to kind of help you understand um, the various churches they all um, choose an item to give away it might be a hamburger it might be a hot dog it might be cake it could be ice cream it could be whatever but everything is free so we want to encourage our community um, to get out and go. So what you could do that day on the 22nd is you could go to um, the, the community day from 10 to 2 and then you could leave there and you could go up to the Ferrum, uh, Friends of the Ferrum activity for the Ferrum Park where you do uh, a $10 donation, and that actually starts at two o'clock. So you can just make a full day of it and have a great time supporting uh, the events that's going on in Franklin County. That's it, I love it. Some other announcements. The Rocky Mount uh, Police Department is uh, now hiring school, a school resource officer. So if you're interested, you can, um, the application, you can go to www.rockymountvirginia.org and uh, you can uh, pl apply online or you can reach out to the Rocky Mount Police Department. And you could actually go there if you don't have access to the internet or, um, you uh, just very interested in the position you could actually go ask some questions and then you could apply but if you're interested in being a school resource officer this is the Rocky Mountain Police Department is accepting applications for a school resource officer where the officer will need to have at least two years of law enforcement experience beyond completion of a designated field training program so there are some requirements for the position, so do keep that in mind. The starting pay, the range is 50, between 51,000 up to uh, 62,000. And of course, that is based on experience, uh, but there are great benefits, um, a take home vehicle, VRS, uh, retirement, um, retirement as part of the event, uh, benefits. So if you're interested in being, have the background or experiences and interested being a school resource officer, please, please apply. The Franklin County Rec Park, you know, this book that I'm always showing you, there are some events going on. Today is June the 14th, so there will be a family bingo night 
at the Essex Center and that starts at 6.30. I think this is one of the um, favorite events through the rec department. They, um, it says the, this is $2 per sheet. So bring the entire family, enjoy this family night. The door is open at 6.30 and it is heavily attended. So if you're going to go to play bingo tonight at 6.30, you might want to get there so you can get you your favorite seat. Also tonight, there will be concerts by canoe. That is today. Starting at 6.30 again, you have another opportunity for another event. It says summer concert, free summer concert featuring his and hers on Philpot Lake. And that is tonight at um, 6.30. Tomorrow, most of you probably already know, Franklin County or the Franklin Rec Park will be hosting the Antique Farm Days. And this is held from June the 14th, it's actually starting today, through June the 16th, which is Sunday. This is at the Franklin County um, Recreation Park down on 619. And there will be, on the 15th, tomorrow, there will be free games and activities for children. Um, there will be the little tiny uh, tractor pull for the little ones and other outdoor fun games. So remember this weekend is the Antique Farm Days. And this is this whole weekend. It's usually on the same weekend as Father's Day. So I want to say Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. And we appreciate everything that you do. I want to say Happy Father's Day to my husband. We have two children. He's a great dad. Um, so, we just want to say Happy Father's Day to all the fathers. These are all the announcements that I'm going to give at this time. Uh, we had some wonderful guests today, so um, we hope that you will participate in some of the activities that are going on this weekend, right? And also participate. Uh, Thursday is the Lee Prong was here for the Alzheimer's Association. On Thursday at Frank County High School track, um, there will be an activity, a fundraiser. So it starts at 7 o'clock. Um, and then next Saturday, the 22nd, Friends of the Farron Park will be having an activity that starts at um, 2 o'clock p.m o'clock p.m. Remember Juneteenth is this weekend down at the Booker T. Washington also Antique Farm Days. A lot going on. A lot going on in Frank County. That's a great thing. Thank you for being with us. I want you to stay safe out there. It's supposed to be really hot so make sure you're drinking your water, plenty of liquids so you can stay healthy and vibrant. Thank you again and have a great day.